Well, we all know that fire is essential to life, comfort, and morale in the backcountry. So here's a compact, everyday carry, waterproof fire kit that includes three sources of fire and tinder fuel that should help you get a life-saving blaze in nearly any situation. Come on, let's take a look. Here's what you'll need for your fire kit. A Wits waterproof sport case, cotton balls, petroleum jelly or triple antibiotic, a small Ziploc bag, two lighters, some duct tape, waterproof matches, two pieces of wet fire, and a magnesium fire starter with striker. So for quick and easy fire starting, I've added two lighters wrapped in duct tape to prevent them from breaking or discharging accidentally. Duct tape is also highly flammable, so it can be used as kindling. Next, we have waterproof matches. I'm using UCO brand because they're quality matches and very reliable, but there's many other brands to choose from. Our third and final fire source and our first tinder source is a magnesium fire starter with fire steel and a mini saw striker. Simply scrape off some magnesium into a pile for flash tinder, remove the black outer coating from your fire rod like this, and scrape the rod with the striker to ignite the magnesium, get a coal suitable for starting most any tinder. Next, for some of the best cheap fire starting tinder money can buy, add a dab of petroleum jelly or triple antibiotic to each of about five or six cotton balls and put them in a snack sized zip seal bag. To use your cotton ball tinder, simply pull the cotton ball fibers apart, spark with your fire steel, or light with a match or lighter. One petroleum jelly cotton ball will burn for about two to three minutes, to give you enough time to get a sustainable fire going. And for the worst of conditions, add two wet fire cubes to your fire kit. We'll talk more about wet fire in future videos. But to use them, scrape some wet fire into a small pile, use your fire steel or a flame to light. The shaved crystals will get the cube going so that you can add tinder to it. Once your fire gets going, carefully remove the wet fire cube, extinguish and store it for next time. And last but not least, to keep your fire kit dry, safe, organized and compact, I use the Wits waterproof sports case. The lighters, magnesium fire starter and wet fire go in the main compartment and the matches and cotton balls pack up nicely in the lid. This case is the perfect size for everyday carry in a pocket, purse, pouch pack, glove box, or larger emergency or survival kit, and it's pretty durable. Now, if you want to save a few bucks, you can simply use a standard Ziploc type freezer bag to hold your fire kit. Now, there you have it, a triple redundant fire and tinder kit for everyday carry, bug out bags, scouts, camping, and general emergency use. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that we've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and click the link on your screen to subscribe to the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV for new survival videos 21 days before they're released on YouTube, monthly giveaways, and over 75 other awesome outdoor shows. Visit ultimatesurvivaltips.com for even more survival training and gear reviews. And while you're there, grab your free subscription to our monthly survival emag. And if you're a real survival junkie, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter for daily survival tips and news. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know.